You remember this passage from Alice Through the Looking Glass? When I use a word, Humpty Dumpty said, in a rather scornful tone, it means just what I choose it to mean, neither more nor less. The question is, said Alice, whether you can make words mean so many different things. The question is, said Humpty Dumpty, which is to be master? That is all. Do your words mean exactly what you want them to mean? Welcome to the Paradise Paradox. My name's Kurt Robinson. I'd like to share with you some things I've been thinking about, a little message of beauty and peace and wonder <laughs> about how you can use tools that are already available to you to improve the world around you, about how you can use words. Now let's get into it. that in Japan they like to say one kind word can warm three long winter months. I was thinking about a time I went to check out a book from a library and I said thank you to the librarian. I didn't really mean it <laughs> but when she said that's all right with a smile she really did mean it and it made a difference to me. It actually made my whole day. I felt happy the rest of the day just because of that simple meaning, that simple intention behind her words. I remember my friend Dan told me when he was living in Sydney, once he got off a bus and he said thank you to the driver and the driver actually stopped right there in his tracks and reversed the bus just to open the door and say to him, hey, you know, thanks for acknowledging me. Thanks for noticing that I'm here. Thank you for being grateful. A word really can make a difference. Last year I was in Thailand in a Buddhist temple and I took an oath saying I believe in holy things and of course I took some time before and after I took the oath to think about what that really means. The night I left the temple I was in Bangkok and I was watching a movie that had a lot of Muslim characters in it so of course they said to each other Assalamu Alaikum, a beautiful phrase it means peace be upon you. It's a nice thing to say. Of course, in Thailand, the famous phrase is Sawati, which is actually the Sanskrit word Svasti, which means goodness or well-being. So whenever you meet a Thai person and they give you a smile and a why and say Sawati, they're actually blessing you. There's another word we use, which we don't think about so much, goodbye. It's actually short for God be with ye. Now, you might not be religious, you might not believe in God. Think about the sentiment behind that. So, may the source of all light, of all life and goodness be with you. Of course, here in France, they like to say adieu, or in Spanish, we say adios, which is actually short for, I'll tell God to look after you. And it's common in Mexico to hear old men saying, que vayas con Dios, that is, may you go with God, which is a nice thing to say, but what's even nicer is they really mean it when they say it. Now, we use a lot of these things just as throwaway phrases, but we always have the power to put the intention and meaning and depth behind these phrases. And you find when you do that, it can really change the emotional state of those people around you. As young men, many of our fathers sat us down and told us, this is how you shake hands, firmly but gently, look in a person's eyes. And we all know the feeling of getting a wet fish handshake and it makes you feel like maybe you're not being treated seriously. Maybe this person isn't really present here with you. And of course, the opposite is also true when you give someone a clear, intentional handshake. It makes them feel comfortable and present and welcome. Here's a question for you. How deep does it go? How friendly can you make your hello? How welcoming can you make your welcome? We've all had the feeling like 
maybe we're not in the right place, not at the right time, like maybe we should leave. And hope we've also all had that feeling like, yes, I'm meant to be here. These people respect me and they want to have me here, feel at peace, comfortable. I'm here to tell you that you have that power to make people feel like that whenever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple of things for you and me to practice. The first thing is, you can say a simple phrase like hello or welcome and try to practice it, try to get it deeper. How friendly can your hello go? When you introduce yourself, can you convey your essence through your words? through the simple act of introducing yourself. I give respect and I respect myself. My name is Kurt Robinson. I respect and command peace in this environment. My name is Kurt Robinson. You are welcome in my presence. My name is Kurt Robinson. How deep does it go? The other thing is you can think about blessings. Think about special words to say to people. Now, maybe some of your friends are religious, and if you use some of these phrases, they're gonna get defensive, which is counterproductive. What nice things can you say to people to get the message across? I like one from Zig Ziglar, when he used to say, what I like about you is fill in the blank. Another one I like is, may all your struggles be meaningful. And this is a special phrase because when you say it, it can actually start to change somebody's perception. So suddenly their suffering isn't just random and chaotic. Suddenly their suffering has a purpose, working towards something. And suddenly you're alleviating the suffering of being human. That's what we call magic. <laughs> My friend Luis likes to say, I appreciate you, which is a beautiful phrase. It's not as committal or as subject to misinterpretation as I love you, but it can go just as deep. And that's what makes it so cool. What you can do as well, make up your own nice things to say to your friends on the spot. May you always be welcome in this world. May you be at peace. May you enjoy your time here. Thank you for listening. Thanks for checking out Cryptonomics as well. The site is cryptonomics.space, principles of cryptocurrency and investing. So I hope, I hope you check that out. I appreciate you. Les quiero, les amo. Que vayan con Dios. Asalamu alaikum. Namaste. And take care.